Thank you so much for joining me as Game Edge. We are back, and of course, you know where? Yes, this is Journey of Life, and my God, it's been a lot of fun playing this game. A lot of work, though, trying to get little things done. We are so happy with this little pottery uh, stand that we were able to make, and we were able to make ourselves water and other things are very, very nice. I'm going to try to cook up this uh, fine little guy here, and then again, the fire is dying a tiny bit. We could probably just grab another log. Oh, it's easier from here. Boom, and there, and keep the fire going. We'll grab this uh, fine fellow here and just place him down right there. Oh, maybe too close. Right here. Uh, it's at the same spot. Jeez, I think it's the same spot. We can just grab there and place him there. And hopefully I'll cook him up now. The heat and the temperature is what matters. you got to be careful for the burning uh, pretty much. Uh, once it gets too hot, you got to pick her up like that and uh, make sure you don't, well, overcook it. Now, this fire is pretty damn warm, so I think we're on the side here. Should be okay for it to cook. And you see it just stops. It's very strange. It'll be a little, a little bit of uh, work in progress for me to learning. And we'll try and put it right here. And uh, we'll cook her up. Uh, the meat we caught last time from that fine little rabbit is still good. It hasn't gone bad. I'm curious about that. We do have lard right here, uh, which can be uh, processed into oil, which will be very interesting. We still have our mushrooms and a couple of fruits left from the trees we picked up. That being said, I did go out and get some fine stuff right here. Got some bamboo logs right from right over there. So you see that little mountain right here to the left outside there's a stream. And if you guys remember episode two, we did pass that stream right there across. Now I did that in the dark. I ran a straight line with this torch and I found it. So yeah, let's be able to put it in the ground. It will pick it up. Very, very nice. Oh, all right. We're good. We're in good shape. All right. We could actually eat a tiny bit. Let's use that. It's going to bring us back some liquids too. This one, not a mistake. No, it didn't. Maybe overcooked it. It's very possible. Uh, we could drink up some water from that fine water that we have, which is where? I don't know what to do with it. There she is. All right, sure. I put it farther away. We can grab this up and uh, drink a little bit of water. It'd be nice. Let's just uh, splurge a tiny bit. I don't know if that empties out the entire thing. Oh, there's still some water in there, I think. We'll drop that off in there. I don't know if it tells you the amount. Oh, there you go. 83% left of water inside. Very nice. I think it's three liters to try and see you can gather. We need to finish this up, so uh, yeah, we need to our hammer, which I have on me here. We're going to talk this in here, which is the actual bamboo we picked up. And now we need a pottery wheel, so we can get a grinder going. Pottery wheel. And how do we make that? And there are craftables, I guess, if possible. Pottery wheel. Are you sure that's a pottery wheel? I thought it'd be a grinding stone, wouldn't it? Stone wheel, pottery wheel. All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with what they're saying here. We're going to need some flat rock. For that one so i have a flat rock on uh, this side right here which i guess we'll have to do a little more of that i think we can grab that all right so flat rock craftables and a stone wheel okay and that being said now we need this we need two stone wheels oh crap so i guess we're gonna be using both of those <laughs> okay i'm 100 I'm sure that's exactly what he wants right a uh, pottery wheel pottery wheel all right well we're gonna try why would you need a pottery wheel for that anyways it is what it is I guess it is rock, isn't it? It is rock. Yeah, that's the reason why. Yeah, it is. All right, so we need two of those. So we're going to craft this up. I just thought of it too. It's not clay. It's pottery. All right, here we go. So we got two, two stone and straight sticks we happen to have nearby. So right on the ground. Pottery wheel is completed. We'll press E to get out of that sucker. It is a warm day here in Montreal. So I'm feeling the warmth of that fire. Boom, shakalaka. What else we need here? Uh, straight solid sticks and one fiber rope. All right, well, we can do that. It seemed like we're going back and forth or everything, but yeah, we have limited space in our backpack and I don't carry everything. Wish I don't know what the heck I'm going to be using it. All right, well, here we go. All right, so we should be able to finish this up. And fiber rope. Beautiful. All right, so let's say we have the grinding stone now. This is the one I want to fix up. We're going to place this axe, uh, this hammer here. We're going to pick up this axe, which is dead, all right? So... 100%, look at it, it says zero right there in blue. It says zero, all right, let's go and check this out, we have to do. If I hold this down, I wish I'd get rid of that uh, big black thing on top there, uh, showing grinding stone. It's just a little bit too big, it takes away from the immersion of fun. I'm gonna do it from far away. No, all right, it's too bad. Hopefully again, it's early access, they'll move that to left or make it smaller, or you don't have to tell me every single time once I have it done, I'm pretty much sure I know what it is. We're gonna bottom, I don't know, anything else. So it takes a little while. You can see, that it will, you know, hopefully you guys can see it. Behind where it says primitive grind, uh, grindstone, it actually is showing the levels of this axe going up. Right now we're at 28%. So it takes a little while. And obviously not the fastest process of all, but it wouldn't be fast to grind with this. So it makes a lot of sense. Very, very nice. So we can continue doing that afterwards. I don't want to waste all of daylight. We can do that at nighttime. 
but I do like that we can actually do the grinding. So I'm not going to bore you guys with that. That is now at 40%. We'll put that next to this, which means I want to make a whole bunch of axes, which I, I appreciate. I'm telling you now, I appreciate it. That torch is lasting a freaking little longer than I expected. It's 24% left. We could put it out, but every time I put it out and bring it back, it goes to shite. All right, let's open this up here and see. We do need the smelting furnace. Uh, which is one and a composter is weird i don't know what that is but once we'll try and get the smelting furnace done uh, which is high density rock we need 15 of them air chamber i don't think i have that all right so we have the clay there maybe we'll do this this one here facing uh, this side we'll put another torch there at night that's pretty cool that yeah, looks good that looks good it's like a little circle around this fire where we can actually work we're gonna let's see what we have to do here uh clay ore three right we'll happen to have a lot of clay I don't know if I'm going to need this fire or not, so I don't want to have to start another one. Oop, sorry. I always forget. I just want to drag. Strand it deep. Okay, one second. Go back here. Grab. I didn't want to grab the bamboo. I want to grab this stuff to fire it. There we go. Because it's grabbing everything around the area, so you get a little bit too much. All right, so we have coconut right here in case we need it. We need clay. We need three of them. Do I have one with a three shot on it? No. All right, well, it's okay. We'll grab a little bit more than we're supposed to. And then we'll hit this baby up. Two and tres. High density rocks. We need uh, how much? Four times high density rocks. All right, so four. These are the ones. I think these are stacks of two. How much do I have? I have one that's one. All right. Let's put that here. There we go. So we got four. And there we go. Nice. Air chamber. Okay, so air chamber. Is that my crafting or does that have to be the table? I think that might be the table. Yeah, we're going to have to look at the table. That probably opened up afterwards. There we go. Air chamber. So we need three clay. So it turns out good. We'll make that. Use the primitive smelting. Uh, furnaces needs to be baked before place. Gotcha. Roger that. I was wondering. That is going to be a fact. All right. So we're going to have to take this. And we do need our fire. Let's so good thing. Kudos. All right. We'll put that next to here. Maybe that's too close. Right there. You got to just wait for it to bake up. It doesn't take too long, which is nice. Oh, no. Well, it does take longer if you grab it. There we go. So if you just look down at this, you will say baked. It just said baked. Perfecto. And then we'll smack this braid in there. And then we're going to get some more, three more high density rocks. So we have to have one here and two there. Nice. That's a heck of a build. I tell you guys, clay ore. All right, I need four clay. Jeez, I'm happy. I want to pick up a lot of clay. I am so freaking happy that I did that. So we didn't have to go back and forth. It would not be a mess. All right, one, two. <laughs> think one more clay all right let's grab another stack dudes uh, do that i should have grabbed two at once to, uh, you know I, I know i know it's all good all right so uh it sits primitive smelting nice what is this you got oh so cool all right that is super cool dude and that's that is so friggin' cool i love that all right that really rustic look to it you gotta put the stuff in there i guess okay uh, I guess we'll have to start the fire too in there. I'm not sure if the coal goes in right away. We have to wait for the fire to kind of like start blazing and then have to worry about putting it in there. I'm not positive. Uh, we're going to see whether or not I can grab some wood and put it in here. Did that go in there at all? I'm not positive how we're going to light that up. Does it show how much wood? Uh, doesn't say. It says, oh, 3%. Okay, there's some in there. Oh, you do see a little bit of uh, maneuvering going on. Okay, so if you hover over this, it's so probably what it was probably best. It was actually at 33%. It was to start the fire with that, then drop the coal in there to get the temperature right. So I'm pretty sure the temperature is going to take some, well, it's going to take some time to get up to that. So it's going to be some work to do. All right. Um, that's a little wrong. That's awesome news. So we got that station done uh, or crushing station. So I think that's one we're going to have to do. We're going to need another flat rock. Oh, darn it. I think that's one thing I don't have. Since we're going to be using this right next to each other. What did you use afterwards? I don't know what the process is. We're going to have to figure this out here. So we got the ore crushing station. Do you have an anvil? Pottery. We got the grinding stone. Hand grind. Hmm. Crafting tree. Opens up what? Opens up a whole bunch of different things here. I don't know what the heck they are. Doesn't really tell you. Cloth weaver would be kind of cool to have. I don't know if we use it right now, but it would be handy. 
woodworks uh, again we need to that saw i still haven't figured out the saw yet i've been looking around can't figure out which one of these it opens up and where right now it doesn't seem to show me anywhere anyways we'll see how it goes uh, i guess we'll do the ore crushing station we'll put it next to it i'm gonna stick with my original plan let's roll that right next to it i think that looks okay like that not too close we want it to catch on fire all right so i need straight solid sticks i thought i had some on me do not we have four shot perfect perfect though okay and uh four straight solid sticks again and some fiber rope four set fiber rope all right we got four there's a four shot right there and uh some more solid sticks all right let's do a four shot i guess we're gonna have to go and get some more holy crap i almost thought i had enough for today there we go just click this right in there and then fiber rope then i need the flat stone which happens to be the one thing i don't have on me here which is so strange i mean we used a lava i guess i guess we used more than expected all right it's okay we'll put down a clay here keeping everything kind of order so we don't lose anything uh kind of nice isn't it yeah it makes a little more sense and we'll grab that we'll stack it down a four shot like that we'll go over here we'll just make sure the fire is nice and stoked ready to go perfecto and we'll drop this off in here i'll keep the hammer on this side because we don't really need to carry that with us i want to keep as much room if we're going to go for a little bit of looting i might as well do it we are going to go a lot further out as we go i just want to get some extra tools and stuff going also i'd like to figure out how to craft a little more uh let's press n we could open this up hopefully showing us some flat stone i didn't see any in a while i'll be honest with you guys i've not seen any in a while so that's gonna be interesting uh usually the beach or feathers is all cool my god that's a lot of feathers dude to do this. that was like 20 somewhat feathers right there that was a lot brings in one stack at a time all right well we'll pick that up too while we're nearby hope we find some flat stone around here anything would be nice I'm actually looking, looking out and waiting for nearby, but oh, there's one there, I think. Yeah, that's a flat rock. That's perfect. And what else can I carry here? I have a lot of those things. I don't know if I'm going to need them. Well, I guess with a high density, we just wasted 15 of them. Another flat rock. Beautiful. What is this? Khaki seeds. All right, we might need that for farming. We'll grab where we can. We might as well make it happen. Screw it at this point. Grab, grab, grab. Hey, maybe in a bit we'll just sit there and we're going, oh, that was a good thing we cared all that. All right, we'll start heading back towards our base. Uh, there's some more flat rock. There we go. And how much room do I have? Perfect. We're filled. Almost filled. There's some more mushrooms and stuff here. Some more rocks. I guess we could have picked up if we wanted to. Always things to pick up. What makes it worse with nearby is that you see everything you're missing as you're walking through it. Probably some flats rocks around here too, but I figured we'd go a little bit further and see if we can find anything. I did gather a lot in this area, so you're seeing there's very little around. There's a good reason. All right, flat rock. Oh wait, need a hammer. All right, we'll drop a couple of flat ones here. Two, three, and then we'll take our trusty hammer beautiful all right so this is the ore crushing station to get that i'm pretty sure we're going to need to start the fire on the other side so let's grab this a little like a tropical area and have a whole bunch of fires going on but yeah i think that's something we're going to need to get done we'll grab you in here we'll drop off some fine loot there just to make sure everything is all exact we'll take this here so i can take both of our hands and high density rock yeah i just want to get rid of stuff right now it's not going to use Starting to get used to what everything looks like now. It's making my life a lot easier, especially those little sticks. I get it. We have a stockpile of them, and they stack about five a pop, so some of these are five-ish. There we go. Nice. And jagged rocks. We can worry about that in a second. All right. Good. Uh, starter. Let's do this. All right. The fire started, supposedly. It is in there. We got the fumes going. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So we can drop that right here for now. And we can also drop off that other stuff we don't need. Where's the feathers? I'm putting them here, right? I think I put the feathers all here yet. I think that went there. If not, it probably flew around somewhere. I have no idea. It's possible. Oh, we have the nuts. Damn it. The seeds. My table here has been very handy. I'm telling you right now. It's freaking handy as heck. All right. I don't know if we need a pickaxe for that or a hammer, I guess. 
I'm gonna go with the hammer and see if that works out. All right, um, or damn it, where's your? All right, I have a couple stacks right here. You can either grab there. Let's we'll grab a couple from here. I don't know how we can put it in there. We'll just grab another stack. Okay, maybe not. We'll just grab another stack like this. Beautiful. And it gives you the piles, so it's pretty cool. Now, you can't drop them in there from what I was reading. You have to drop these here and then smack the living crap out of it with a hammer. I wasn't sure if they were telling me the truth, but yeah, all right. So you're taking these apart. So it needs to be smashed with a hammer and crushing station, which is, is it? Uh, smelled and okay, smelt and it smelted in a small amount of aluminum. All right, we're gonna do a little bit first. So we open this baby up, and I think the temperature has to be this is 1200 in there. Holy crap, it's pretty warm. Uh, so we're gonna grab this and drop it in there and then leave it in there. From what I was reading, it takes about 20 seconds ish, if not maybe less. Uh, to do that, I think uh, they weren't exactly sure of the numbers. From what I've seen in the forums, I have no idea how long it's going to take, but we'll try it out. I'm also just get as much done as possible. Can I smash these again to something else? No. Just making sure. All right, grab, grab. They all stacked up and weird. All right. Oh, look at that. Where, is, where did I figure to go? Is it in here somewhere? Or did I grab it out because it was close by? Yeah, I grabbed it out because it was close by. <laughs> I thought it disappeared. Okay, how many can you put in here anyways? One, two, three. All right, we'll stack it in there. So it goes in one at a time. I'm not positive how long it takes. It looks like the temperature goes down when we have this open. All right, let's just close this up. This has been one of the most original ones I've seen so far uh, for actual, well, smelting and stuff. That's pretty cool. I have to tell you, I'm quite impressed with it. Look at this. Look at that. Got a fire going on. Got some smelting going on. We got crusher station. We're doing good. All right. What's the temperature at? Uh, 1500. And open this up. Do we have what we need? I think we do. They're on fire, dude. All right. And then we have to take what to do with what this. I don't know what I have here. Iron ball. Ore ball. It needs to be smelted in a furnace. Jagged rock. Did I not? I guess I picked up and it was just not ready yet. Okay, we'll just drop it back in there. Uh, iron ore combined needs to be crushed and baked. I don't understand. It needs to be crushed. All right, now this breaks into what? Iron nuggets used for smelting various products. Okay, so I guess we need mold after that. Right? I'm, I'm guessing that that's what we need because we got the nuggets now out of this. So we have to grab all these suckers here. I'm not sure what to wait for the heat. To, or it's too hot. It gets too cool. It's no more good. It needs to be smelt fresh. I think I, it's good, buddy. It's blaring red. All right, it's still not ready. Okay. Jeez, they're picky. They're really picky. All right. Uh, smelt in a furnace. Crushed. There we go. We have two there already. That's much easier, actually, to look through that. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Open us up, and we'll drop these two here. So you got to be careful because they're inside there. Be crushed. We need to be crushed. We need a crusher, I think, dudes. We don't need to use like this. We'll have to build that crusher, I think, and see if that works out. All right, well, we've got a whole bunch of iron nuggets. We do have, hopefully we get storage in the future. I'd hate to lose these nuggets um, anywhere. So what we're going to have to do is uh, be a little bit frugal in places here. Down here. There we go. So nice little stacks here. I guess we're going to have to look at the crusher next uh, since it seems to be a station we need. Where is that? Crusher, crusher. I saw it not too long ago. There you go. Hang grind? Pause? Yeah, no, I don't think so. You know what? Let's just try it out. Bounce crafting tree. Can't freaking hurt at this point. Put a grinder right here. Little drawer stair, so let's keep that together. I get all around the fire. Best place to be. We want to make sure we can see everything. And it's free light, so why not at this point? Okay. Um, why do I have palm on me? I don't even know why I have this on me. I think I picked it up by mistake when I was grabbing some stuff. I have no idea. We'll drop that off in there. 
And put those jagged rocks in here. We don't need those for right now. Just now. Okay, so they're good. Everything's placed in there. What do we need for this sucker here? Look at the planks. Oh, frig, that plank again. Well, that's not happening. Can I destroy this if I want to? I don't know if I can take these off or not. I have no idea how you delete this. Maybe just delete. I have no idea. All right, so maybe if you guys know, get a confidence tell me how much wood's left in this thing. Right now, it's 600 Fahrenheit. The wood is starting to go down a tiny bit. Let's see how much heat comes up with the actual coal. I'm going to drop one piece of coal. Hopefully, just one. Yeah, two went in there. Now, that should be burning a whole lot harder. And that'll be great. All right, well, I guess we'll do the rest of the nuggets and stuff the way we were doing them. That way, we get it over with and we don't have to waste our time with that. Need to be smelt in the furnace raw. What the hell, dude? Smelt in the furnace, smelt in the furnace. I guess I had too much and it, did, it got too cool, maybe. Maybe there's a max you can put in there. I don't know. We'll close the lid and let that roll a bit. That's a shame about this thing. I really was hoping to get that done, but that is not going to work. So eat it and interact. I don't think I can do anything like remove it right now. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Maybe tea. Oh, what the? Fr oh, yeah, it's building. Oh, <laughs> sorry. That was pretty funny. All right, we just have to look here and see. Does it tell you you can crush them now? It needs to be crushed. All right, so this is it now. We're ready to go. Hopefully we have enough to do all that. We'll place them on here. Needs to be crushed, 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 and crushed. Excellent. Am I with my axe? I'm going to hammer. Okay. Nice. That worked out really nicely. Okay. We'll grab all this. Little iron nugs. Again, we do. We don't know if we have to make a mold and stuff. We'll have to figure out the mold. Probably have to go up to the other station over there and figure this out. Uh, we're going to place this down again here. We don't want to lose any of these little nuggets anywhere. Okay, let's check this out and see if we can create a mold for anything. These are clay funnels and uh, clay plates used as part of building a station. All right, cool. Four centimeters. Use a part. Clay plate. Using part of building stations. Handmade clay pot, a lot of clay things. Handmade clay pot uh, used for carrying water and casting tunnel and smelting pot. I don't see any of the actual things I'm looking for here. That's in our pottery. Give it craftables. We'll see if that's in there. Nope. Hmm. And tools. We'd like to make that ladder though. We're gonna need some bamboo logs too and a whole bunch of bamboo blocks which we don't have currently. The smaller, which are the smaller itsy bitsy ones we could go for a bow and stuff this is pretty cool straight solid sticks and i don't know if we need it right now we do need a water collector that would be perfect i did go and get this so let's get this done get a little water collection going i'll probably put this next to here just because it's uh you know the in between stuff it doesn't have to be really close to us for a water collector all right what do you need here for now we're gonna need four straight solid sticks which we happen to have right near us it should be working yeah just because it's right beside us. So it should allow us to do it. I think I'm going to run out. Oh, I have enough. Perfect. And I have fiber rope near it by, so no worries. You can hit this up. And three straight, uh, straight solid sticks left here. Some fiber rope. Holy crap. And those leaves I do have, by the way, if you guys are wondering, I do have those. They're nearby. If you guys are looking for them, they're right there. So it's close enough. In a perimeter, you see on the left hand side or near, nearby, as long as it's near. I guess I could do that with everything. Clay funnel, all right, that's where we have to rock and roll a bit. All right, so clay funnel, we just saw that two seconds ago under pottery, I think. Smelting pot, where is that? Clay funnel, all right, so I just need a couple of clay. We got that back here, we got that. Gotcha. Perfecto. All right, that's crafting up. Get out of here and build to smack that baby into order. Nice. So all the leaves and everything else in here collects water for a okay, case. So we have to put a pot. You need to place a pot under it. So let's go and get make ourselves another handmade pot we can do here. We'll cure that baby up in a second. 
There we go. Handmade pot. Holds up three liters. We have one over there, but we'll just craft another one for shites and giggles. We can always go back and get more clay and stuff. And we'll go over here and we'll put that next to the fire. And of course, we need to bake it. This is much bigger, isn't it? Why does this hold three liters and the other one holds three liters? That looks like it's a lot bigger. Anyways, it's all good. Place it here. And then we have to place the pot underneath. I believe like that. All right. Well, that's really cool. We got a lot more done than expected. At least I got some water going. I'm understanding the game a little better. Of course, we can't really turn this off. We could do a little more iron ore. It is really hot. This thing is blaring hot. Holy crap. Uh, we can make a couple more torches for the night if you want to. And again, there is no more iron. I think there's a couple of iron left in here. There they are. Uh, we can always smack those up and get it over with. And I'll do that off camera. But we've been having a lot of fun getting this kind of done. I'm hoping we'll figure out how to make the plank and the saw. The saw is what's really holding me back for a lot of stuff uh, to build. I want to be able to do those little extras. So we're going to have to figure out how to make the saw. Hopefully with doing this process, we'll continue to grow and find out exactly how we can smelt that in there. It's got to be some kind of mold or something we have to create a positive. Uh, but we'll try and get it done as fast as we possibly can. So thank you guys for being here. I do appreciate it. Again, if you're enjoying us, take the time. Smack the living crap of a like button. You guys are absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for being here. This is Gamage, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Mm -hmm.